Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Chaos. Thank you everybody for stopping by. It's going to be a great episode of Chaos for sure. Welcome everybody to the beautiful city of Chicago, Illinois. So thank you everybody for stopping by. I hope you enjoy. Let's get the show on the road. Oh, would you look at that? Here comes the monster himself. Wanting to say a couple words, Bond. Freaking Jacob, the former world heavyweight champion, and he did not seem too happy about it. Well then, I I suppose well fed. And our first match of the night is gonna involve someone that uh that uh, I think everybody kind of hates. It's Adrian MP. Adrian MT with a hairstyle like a Hawaiian fruit basket consisting of only bananas. Here he comes to the ring. I don't know exactly what he planned to do here tonight, but honestly, I really hope it results in a loss because nobody is a fan of MT, and if you are, you probably have some sort of mental disorder. And here comes his opponent tonight, it's gonna be Robbie Xanadu, who surprisingly defeated Big Joe last week, and trust me, I don't know how he did that either, but we're not gonna worry about it too much. But, uh, he looks like he has a different outfit on, he's not wearing his sleeve anymore. People are calling Robbie Vanity the Walmart version of Mateo Lopez I've seen, discount store version of Mateo, and come on, be nice to the guy, he's done nothing wrong, he's been doing his best, and he even took down Big Joe last week, he earned a little bit of, he needs a little bit of respect, but uh, Robbie Vanity heading down to the ring to face off against the disappointment Adrian MT, that should just be his nickname, let's be honest here, get a, get out some merchandise, Adrian MT, in all blue and orange letters, and then just the disappointment in black letters on a white shirt. That'd be pretty cool, right? It probably wouldn't get many tails, uh, tail, but uh, hey, it'd be cool. This might be one. This might be one bias, in my opinion, though. Let's be honest here. Get your hair out of the camera. Jesus Christ.
And without any further ado, Adrian MP is going to face off against Robbie Danadu. I think everybody's kind of rooting for the Danadu to win, but we'll see how this goes. Here we go. Danadu, oh god, starting off with a nice edge drop right to the head, and a left one as well. So I don't have a nice edge drop to the chest, I should probably clarify that better. Oh god, decapitator from Danadu hit the Adrian MP, oh, and pull forth. MP, back to his lead is Robbie Danadu getting him, uh oh. Take him off the oh, off the roll full speed. Oh god, a back elbow from MT able to counter whatever Danadu was trying to go for. And Danadu caught with a couple of step kicks from uh, Adrian MT and a right hand takes him to the rope. Adrian with them off. Oh my god. Whoa! Whoa! An arm drag from MT. Some, oh, and a drop kick. Some athleticism shown by Adrian. That's kind of surprising, honestly. That looks like something Elok would do. Is he learning from Elok Freaky? He better not be. I will be mad if he goes up into the rainbow cutter to win a match. I will honestly just leave this room. Robbie Danadu with Adrian Antti back on his feet. Danadu. Oh god, taking him full fourth into the corner and bounces off the turnbuckle. My goodness. Oh god. Tripping up Danadu though as he falls to the ground. Adrian Antti with Danadu back on his feet. Oh, dropkick missed the mark. Right hand from Danadu down goes Adrian Antti. Sure, I suppose that'll work. Oh god, left hand. By Adrian Antti, but back the other way, look at this! Adrian set into the corner by Robbie Danity and a right hand called Adrian Hard, elbow drop as well. Adrian Antti, oh a drop kick, caught Danity. Robbie moving out of the way, they'll turn him through another drop kick, hit Adrian Antti. Stomping down, Adrian. Back to, oh god, oh, with right into the corner full speed. Now Robbie Danity. Still striking down, and he's back to the window with the right, and then the carry. Danity falls face first. Went for the kick. This is just back and forth action here between these two. Kind of surprising. Empty with another possible kick. He gets stuck on his feet. Robbie. Uh oh, rolling out of the way. Adrian Empty knocking on the happen, and a clothesline from Robbie Danity. Uh oh, Danity looking to fly though. Look at Danity. He tells them no. Danadu from up high elbow drop to the chest of Adrian MT. That one hit hard, penetrating that chest area. But look at this, Danadu with Adrian hung. Boom! A spike DDT from the middle rope and Robbie Danadu kneeling over Adrian MT. Danadu, what is the next step for him? But like we said before, if he can beat Big Joe, I'm sure he can beat Adrian Empty. He beat his partner. I mean, he's, oh, you know what? I actually just realized that he's taking down basically the whole team of Big Joe and Adrian Empty. He, he beat Big Joe, now he's trying to beat Adrian Empty. That'd be kind of funny if he could do that. Kind of cool, too, as well. Left hand. But MT went for the end of Gary. Danny went out of the way and kicking him right back down to the floor. Where he belonged. Danny do. Taken off the rope by Adrian. What? Did he just- Oh, God! What- What on- Okay. Adrian MT. Uh-oh, rolling through! And then, oh, God. This is not good for Robbie Vanadu. It's not good for my health, either. Adrian MT. But Vanadu in the corner. Oh, my God. Ah, what are they doing? What? Adrian- Oh, you- What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That is just not okay. Simply not. Oh god, Robbie Danadu just got punt kicked in the nuts. <laughs> oh god, Jesus. Danadu down on one knee. Oh god. Right hand to the gut, trying to escape the grasp of Adrian MT. Right hand from Robbie as well. Another one clubbing to the back and an uppercut. Adrian MT falls against the rope. Danadu ready. Taking him off. Another clothesline, this time with the left arm. And let's go for knockout. Adrian running through. And a knee and a knee strike, I believe that was. One, two, and Danny kicked out at two. Adrian Anti, what is he going to do? I'm not quite sure what he's doing. Adrian Anti, waiting for Danny. Oh God, waited a little too long. Robbie taking him into the corner. Danny, what's onto the corner? Oh God, never mind. And an uppercut from Robbie. Uh oh. Danity setting up for the corner punt kick! Danger and empty! Oh my god. That's always a brutal move that you love to see, especially when it's used on Adrian empty. Danity, oh god, whipping him right off the turnbuckle. 
Uh-oh. Adrian back the other way, though. It's not over, and a drop kick to Xanadu, and he falls to the ground. That's why he needs to move out of the way. We've seen what happened before. Adrian. Oh! Diving the knee right into the back of Robbie. Still on the ground, though, Adrian. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. MP. Oh, God. Sunrise super kick into the cover. MT got him. Kick out at two. Whew. Robbie Vanity kicked out at two off the Sunrise Super Kick. Another knee right to the back of Robbie Vanity. MT went for the storm. Vanity moved out of the way. Vanity with a left hand. Oh, and an RKO. There you have it. One, two, and Adrian kicked out at two. How on earth? You gotta be joking me. Uh oh. I don't think it's over yet. I don't think it's over yet. Was he not going for the RKO? Well, that was just disappointing. Maybe he changed his mind? Oh, he definitely changed his mind. What on earth? What is he going... What is Bobby doing? Oh my god. Vanity on the top rope with... Adrian MT. Oh my god. Oh my god! Robbie! Oh! An RKO! From the top rope! He sure enough was setting up for something big! Oh my god! Into the cover! We'll try and put away Adrian MT for the win! Yes! He does! Robbie Vanity picking up a nice victory, taking down Adrian MT. And he's defeated the team of Big Go and Adrian MT in two singles matches in two weeks. Great performance from Robin. He's finally showing off that skill I know he had deep in him. Two wins in a row for the Anarchist Robbie Vanity win. Adrian MC does not look happy at all. Let the bell ring. Here come June Cradle. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Charlottesville, Virginia. And here comes the former woman's champion. She lost at the Madison Ivy at Extreme Rules, but uh, she's here tonight and she's going to take on a fantastic superstar in Keely Judoshi. And something interesting about Keely Judoshi is that last week on, uh, I believe it was, yeah, it was Extreme Rules. Uh, or actually no, it was last week on Chaos, my fault. Uh, Madison Ivy faced off against Kagetsu after they had a little stare at a three move. And after Madison won the match, she grabbed the steel chair and she was about to go beat up uh, Kagetsu. And then Keely Judoshi came running down the ramp full speed and took the chair from Madison Ivy, saving Kagetsu. And why did I also check on it? So you have to wonder if Kagetsu and Keely are building up a relationship because obviously, you know, June Quavo and Nancy Quavo are, you know, sisters that are already kind of together. Then you have Keely and Kagetsu that might be coming together. So it's an interesting storyline developing between these two with that. And of course, you have Mattis and Ivy slot in there too. And of course, here comes our opponent. We were just talking about her. Keely Judoshi. Kaylee have taken down a few stars, like, of course, one being Janet George, a big one. And Kaylee Judoshi is looking to do that again tonight against June Cravo. It's a hard, hard challenge for the Kanoichi, but certainly a challenging one that could push her to her limit. So I can't wait to see how this match turns up. Let's go ahead and get it started. And without any further ado, June Cremo and Keely Judoshi ready to square off. Referee, we know bell. Here we go. June Cremo, oh God, caught Keely Judoshi right off the bat. A scoop slam and a strike right to the back. 
Already starting off, no hesitation whatsoever for June Quavel. Quavel taking Keeley off the ropes. Whoa, whoa, what a hip toss. And that's not it. Got her with the drop kick. June Quavel and Keeley Didoshi really showing out some nice light in their career. Then June Quavel now. He's got her back on her feet. Quavel. Oh, God, whipping her to the corner. June Quavel coming through. Oh, God. Boot right to the face, and oh god, still stomping down on Keely Didoshi. June Grable bouncing off the world, coming through! Oh my god, Hurricane Rana driver straight into the ground! Uh oh, Keely Didoshi. Oh god, caught by Grable again with an end to Gary. No chance for Keely and June to continue in the strike down on Keely Didoshi. Oh, trying to move out of the way. June! Got her with the throat drop and another one. Oh god, she just keeps docking her right in the throat! June Crable. Uh oh, wow, a hip toss! And boom! June Crable heading to the top rope. Crable! Oh god, a flash right to the back. Soft down as well. Crable. Boom! Hip drop right to the arm. June Cravel with Keely back on her feet. Keely with out the rope. Judoshi, oh man. Drop kick right there and oh, Going for another one would not go. Keely Judoshi. Oh, went for the one and then June back the other way. Caught him again. June Cravel keeps stomping down to the gut. Oh, Keely, but Keely back the other way. Went for a strike, but June Cravel. It looks like he didn't get all of that, honestly. Quavo again, oh gee, the kick right to the cut in her right hand to give the Doshi as she falls. She's gonna roll out of the ring by heading back in as fast as she can. Keely, oh! Quavo couldn't get her. Keely! Oh my god! A gut buster from the oh my god, that's not it! Oh my god, a knee as well! And Keely putting on the magnum there, my goodness. Gee, the Doshi, oh! Drop! Oh my god, another drop kick! Kiyoshi running through! Went for the clothesline, June Crable out of the way though. Oh, a super kick from Crable! There you go! That's not it though! That's not it! June Crable, camera goy! A camera goy from Crable! That's exactly what she needed! Two! Crable! Could not put her away! Keely kicked out of two. So close, but not enough. Keely showing off the night nice skill on the resiliency factors there, but not June Crable. Heading to the top rope! Oh, an elbow from the top rope, and June Crable showing off that great athleticism, especially in the high flying ability. Certainly shines at different spots of the match, and a drop kick to the back. Crable bouncing off the rope, so that's not all she's got. Another Hurricane Rana driver right into the mat. We roll that. Oh my god, wait, what? Killing Doshi from behind! Watch out! Oh my god, into the, oh god! The Dragon Flare! The Dragon Flare from Kili Jidoshi! Oh, but June Crable gets out! Lucky for June! Oh my god, not it! Kili, a clothesline! Jidoshi, got her back to her feet, that's not it! June! I caught her with a throw thrust again, and a drop kick to Kili, and oh man, June Crable is certainly not giving up any kind of hope, and a head physics from Jidoshi! Oh god, June Crable moving out of the way. Crable, oh my god! Faith the right into the map! June Crable, with Kaylee, another super kick! Right to the face! That's not all June Crable wants to do though. What is Crable looking for? Got her back on her feet. June Crable! Taking Kaylee to the off the ropes. Crable, wow, a hip toss! And running through, oh my god! That's already kind of flipped, and she's like, what, 5 foot 9, 5 foot 10? It's crazy. Very athletic for the height. June Crable, wow, oh, oh, what's the other corner by Keely Jidoshi? Jidoshi not gonna have any of that. Keely, taking her off the boat, that's not it. Keely! Oh my god! That was beautiful, whatever you want to call that. And June Crable, that's not it. Keely back the other way, though. Be careful, June Crable, a couple of back elbows to try and fight off Kili Jidoshi for as long as possible. Kili, fighting back, June, another knee right to Jidoshi. Certainly trying the best she can, oh my god, Blue Thunderbomb, one, two, June Crable picked up the victory and
Kili Doshi with the heroic attempt, but Shun Kuebo still picking up a nice win. And that's gonna do it for that match. Perfect performance by Jun Kuebo. Kili Doshi did her best, but of course it's hard to take down someone like Jun Kuebo. You can't expect it all the time. And the former women's champion gonna pick up a much needed victory for the night. And here comes the monster himself. He had a promo earlier tonight stating that he's not going to let anyone get in his way, that he's going to go off his own terms now, and he's got a chance to show that in a huge rematch for the way. And here comes Bund freaking Jacob. Bon Jacobs was hit and hit hard when he lost that World Heavyweight Championship at Extreme World to Dream and Tyrell. And of course, he took all that anger out on Mark of the Mora last week, a promo earlier tonight. And he's getting a rematch, not for the championship, but a normal match against the, well, I guess you could call him our arrival now, Draven Tyrell. So certainly, we're going to see how that goes because Bon Jacobs is looking to get some, well, luck back his other way by defeating his rival, Draven. And of course, that would certainly help out his career. But on the other hand, can Draven Tyrell fight off the monster for another day? And here he comes, the World Heavyweight Champion alongside with the Undisputed Championship on his way. A double champion, Draven Tyrell, looking to face off against Bon Jacobs again tonight. Delvin have enough, well, <laughs> have too much gold on his way to carry both championships, but of course Draven a double champion, world heavyweight and undisputed, and of course, you have to wonder if Bon Jacob is going to be able to get revenge here tonight, because Draven Tyrell is such a monster, you've seen the power he's shown off, especially against people like Big Joe, deadlifting him from the ground up over his shoulders, no problem, didn't even look like it hurt or took any effort. That's the insane part about Draven Tyrell, and honestly, if I was Bon Jacobs right now, I would be seriously worried. Even if it isn't for the championship. And referee rings the bell, here we go, the rematch, Draven went for a body fest out of the bed, but John Jacobs digging the knee, went for the cross body. But look at this, Draven Tyrell, he's read him very well. Both superstars reading each other, back to the can of chop back to the way, ball went for a clothesline, Draven back to the way, and a flash right there, Draven, oh god, bouncing him right off the turnbuckle, and a clothesline caught Jacob, I don't think he was expecting that, not at all, Draven pounding down on Bond, Bond with the gut kick right back the other way, Jacob, a right hand, back and right, Draven caught, and a third one, and Draven shrugs it off like it's nothing, but Bond, Jacob, oh my god, he already made Draven bleed, and the monster Bon Jacob trying to get back in Draven Tyrell's head. And bon Jacob, my god, look at that. He's just pummeling Draven Tyrell in the corner, but certainly it's not gonna go well for him if he keeps that up. And Draven caught by Bon Jacob again. Jacob, uh oh, look at this. Draven, oh my god. Oh, an elbow. Draven Tyrell, look at this, raining right down on the Bond Jacob. Draven with Bond back on his feet. Draven Tyrell, oh god, the referee was caught in a right hand. Bond moved out of the way just in time. Draven a right hand to Jacob. Draven with him off the rope. Tyrell couldn't catch him there. Bouncing him off the rope, god, right into the turnbuckle. Oh! Bond back the other way, back over, went for something there, but Draven got back the other way, with a body press, straight to the face of Bon Jacobs, and down he goes, and that was a hard one as well. Draven whipping over to the corner. Draven Tyrell, whoa, bounce off the other one, oh my god, no, he's done this so many times before, Draven Tyrell, back and forth off the turnbuckle, but this is like a signature move for him, it's one thing that he's known for. 
And Joey Ventura finishing it off toward the island. And they're cover and a kick out at one. Jacob did not letting it happen. Mm. And Jacob striking down hard. Sure, I suppose that worked. But on Jacob still pounding on Draven Tyrell, but he faces it like it's nothing. But on Jacob is still in it. Went for the strike to the back. Draven outpowered them. Draven and elbow right to the head. Down goes Jacob, but he's moving out of the way still. Bond hasn't given up hope. Draven Tyrell, pull right off the corner, fall to the ground. Draven with Bond back on his feet again, whipping him into the corner, and oh my god, went for it again, but Bond able to reverse it. He was going for that back and forth thing again, and Bond Jacob got him on the middle rope. Jacob, oh, backbreaker to a final cut. That's the kind of stuff you like to see from Bond Jacob, but Draven reversing with the second quarter line. Draven Tyrell, Bond Jacob stuck back to the two. Draven, who full power, pulled him back ahead, but Tyrell with Bond Jacob sending him into the corner. Oh god, Bond Jacob goes back the other way with an elbow. Draven puts him into the corner. Tyrell whipping him off the rope. Draven, watch out! A clothesline gliding right off Bond Jacob. Draven Tyrell. Taking Bond Jacobs into the corner and boom! Bounce off the turnbuckle. Oh my god, are we doing it again? We might be. Yeah, we are. Draven's going for it again. Jesus Christ. Tyrell, the three, four, five. Oh my god, he's still going. Oh my god, six, seven? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Eight. Oh my god. Nine. And finally get out of it, nine of them, and Bond Jacob escape. But Jacob looking to get revenge back to the way, look at the right one, oh my god, no way. Wow! Tossed him right into the other side of the turnbuckle. Jesus Christ, Bond Jacob still throwing off the ridiculous strength on hit part two, but Draven outpowered them again with the clothesline. Tyrell stomps right to the feet. That's not all he wants to go for, look at it, Draven. He's got him by the wrist and he's just stepping on him basically. He's just stomping right on the back of the head of Bond Draven. He's treating him like he's a little ant. That's the thing that Draven does. If he doesn't care who he faces, he's gonna outpower them as much as he can anytime. And Draven Tyrell takes him outside onto the concrete floor. Oh, one for the kick right to the front. Counter one for the referee. Jake of Dragon School. The crowd seems very not into it, which is pretty surprising for a Bond Jacob Draven match. Three. Oh god! Bond sent away a guy right then right into the barricade of Draven flames in the head. Right under the bar is there blood on the barricade? Oh my Jesus. It's just a Oh my god, no 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 no! Jesus, a gun red suplex From Draven Tyrell count of five. This is just insane. Count of thick. Draven Tyrell taking Von Jacobs Seven. right over. Count of seven. Draven, oh god, send him right into the apron. Draven rolling back in the ring. Count of eight. eight. Count of eight. Draven Tyrell heading outside again. One. With that in the count, Draven sending Bond Jacob onto the apron. Oh, went for the right hand. Bond moved that away quick though. Draven trying to keep the lay. Draven, oh my god, got caught with an uppercut from Jacob. Draven back the other way as well. Tyrell keeps getting caught from Bond Jacob. But Tyrell doesn't care, sending him right into the barricade, went for the clothesline. But Draven got caught out of the way. Jacob the left one. Trying to keep oh god, trying to keep Draven at bay. Clothesline from Tyrell. Can't afford. Still on the outside, looking to get back in the ring to the top of the left hand reversed by Jacob to the left of the dome. Now Jacob has the one against the barricade. Can't have picked Draven. Gone right to the gut. Count of seven, watch out, we're running out of time. Bond Jacob. Sending Jacob go oh sorry, sending Draven over to the field there that he's gonna reset the count. Now Bond Jacob is actually Oh it's on the apron. Von Jacob the forearm from the apron. Beautiful move from Bond Jacob. Jacob went for the right oh god, went for the left, but Draven strikes back. Doesn't matter what they do, it's just a mug set. Outside the wind out Bond Jacob is able to capitalize. Sending him back into the apron. Jacob. Oh god, a left hand. Right to the forehead of Draven. And oh my god, no. 
Von Jacob tearing up the announce table here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Raven back to see Von Jacob. Outside the ring. Watch out behind you. Watch out behind you. Von Jacob heard him coming. I guess I, how can you not hear him coming, honestly? He's so big. He weighs like 400 pounds. Draven tie wrap then right into the apron. Von Jacob. Oh my god. No way. See, Jacob's on the top. That's so far away. That's so far away. Count of five. Von Jacob. Oh. Wait for the double knee face break of a Draven. Move out of the way. And Jacob is not happy about that. Von Jacob. <laughs> I don't think that was the plan. Draven Tyrell, oh my god, submission maneuver, look at this, this is unique. Oh, and Von Jacob's gonna get out of it with the strike right to the back. And now Von Jacob, clobbering down on Draven Tyrell. Jacob, oh my god, then off the road, watch out, thing on his face buster. Sorry, face breaker, I should say, from Von Jacob, and he's still standing taller with Draven Tyrell. Von Jacob sending him to the oh god into the corner, corner and John Jacob the double axe handle right to the back with Dragon Tyrell caught by Jacob again he's still striking back went for the cross but he got him and now striking down trying to get every little bit of offense he can on Draven Tyrell. Von Jacob with Draven to the outside now Von Jacob taken out I think he's looking to do exactly what I <laughs> exactly what everyone else here imagines yeah he is. Right into the corner of the announce table, and he's trying to set Draven Tyrell up now. Oh god, yeah, yeah, Bon Jacob trying to capitalize. Is he gonna do it? Yeah, yeah, oh my god, no, Draven able to go back the other way. Oh no, now Draven Tyrell with Bon Jacob against the hero. That was a mistake, that was a mistake. He took too long. This is exactly why Draven Tyrell. And a world strongest slam through the table. Von Jacob with a big mistake, and that proved him. But Jacob is still alive. Oh no! Unleashed the beast inside. The monster trying to come out on Draven Tyrell. Oh god! And Jacob got that headbutt on him. Uh oh, Von Jacob. Oh my god, Jacob. Look at this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jacob! Oh! A pile driver! From the apron to the floor! Oh, that was brutal. Oh my god, look at it. Jacob with a deadlift! You gotta be kidding me! A power slam! 400 pounds! Of just pure muscle! And Von Jacob just deadlifted him from the floor. That was... I, I guess both of these men just have a ridiculous power than their art. Man, that's crazy. Draven Tyrell up standing over. Watch out, Jacob! Watch out, Jacob! Watch out! Von Jacob taking him off the... Oh, wait for the effort cover. Draven moved out of the way. Draven got back with the back elbow. Draven Tyrell with him off the road. Oh, Von Jacob. Oh, caught him! Yamanage! And then a cover on Draven Tyrell. This is what he needed. Von Jacob trying to put him away. Kick out at two. Draven did not fall that easily. But Von Jacob is trying to do everything he possibly can. And watch out Draven. Watch out Draven. Here it is. Oh my god. Draven Tyrell went back to the way. Oh, that's fine, Buster. He went for the colossal end. But Draven countered with the spine buster. Oh my god, no way. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Draven Tyrell on the top. Oh! That could have been broken ribcage for Von Jacob. The Draven Tyrell landed that, but he got the knees up. And oh my god, went for something again. But Draven, back in the way. We thought takedown. Oh my god. Von Jacob's in trouble. Von Jacob, I repeat, is in trouble. Draven Tyrell. World strongest slam. Count a two! Bond kicks out a two! Draven Tyrell can't put him away. Just like that extreme rule, Jacob kept kicking out of the most crazy things. But Draven Tyrell is going for a second one. He's going for a second one. He's not done yet. Draven Tyrell! Here it is! Whoa! Strongest 
the land. The second one and that's gotta do it. Count up two. Bond kick down at two. How on earth? This is exactly what was happening. Oh! At extreme rules, he kept kicking out of the craziest thing. Two world strong slam, and that's not even a put that's not enough to put Bond Jake at the way. That is insane to me, and it's fine buster again from Draven. Tyrell. Why now again? Another fine buster! You gotta be kidding me! Draven Tyrell! Into the cover on Bond Jacob! One! Two! Bond kicks out at two! How is Jacob outpowering the I guess I think this is Dillian against Raven Tyrell yet again? It's just been the same thing over and over, I swear to you. Oh my god! Draven again! A repeat at Extreme Rules and a World Strongest Slam! Out of midair! This is exactly what happened at Extreme Rules! And Draven Tyrell has defeated Bond Jacob for the second time in a row. I, I honestly cannot believe what I just saw. It, it was an, I wouldn't say it was an exact repeat of Extreme Rules because they competed in an Extreme Rules match, but man, the finish was like Extreme Rules. A World Strongest Flame kick out, World Strongest Flame kick out, and then a World Strongest Flame out of midair to take down Braun Jacobs. And Draven Tyrell had done it again. And I'd say after that match, Draven is certainly worthy of a World Heavyweight Championship run and even the undisputed championship run he's been on since the title draft pay-per-view. And that is absolutely amazing. Draven Tyrell with another monster victory. And here comes the former Universal Champion, Daryl Mullen. Oh, we have Hero Mullins coming out to the ring today. He's gonna face off against Jack Dreamer, his partner. Of course, Jack Dreamer being a rival, and it's Cole Penn uh, on the other half of the uh, the Diamond Tag Team Champion, the first line. And Hero Mullins looking to take a win here tonight against Cole Penn, and let's see if he can do it. We we'll just wait for Cole Penn to get out to the ring, of course. And that's going pretty quick. And of course, here comes his opponent, Cole Penn. Is the hero not wearing his hat? Normally he wears the hat to them. Oh, the fight at least. And of course, here come crazy old Cole Penn, one half of the Diamond Tag Team Champion. And he's looking to face off again. Well, the former Universal Champion, Hero Mullen. Alright, and here we go. Yeah, Hero is not wearing the hat. Normally he wears the hat when he fights, but I guess not this time. But he still has the tuxedo. That's the good thing. But here we go. Referee wings the bell. Here we go. Hero and Cole Penn facing off one-on-one. -on -one. Hero got him over the shoulder on a fire and scary enough striking down to the back of Cole Penn in the roundhouse. Cole Penn still on one knee. Penn caught Hero though. Off the ropes here, Cole Penn. Got, oh god, caught with a knee. Hero left hand. Another left caught Cole Penn. Uh-oh, Cole Penn whiffing him off the ropes. Look at this. Cole, whoa. But back the other way. Hero. Then in a corner by Cole Penn. Oh no, back the other way. Look at Cole! Boom! Beautiful Falcon Arrow. Cole Penn did nothing up to put him away, actually. Cole into the cover on Hero. Referee for the count. And a kick out at one. 
can't expect to take someone down that either. Lay a right hand revert by Hero with the gut kick. Hero reversing over to the corner. Turn around, back for to the turnbuckle. Oh god, a knee dug right into Hero's gut. Goldfan not gonna have that. Oh god, taking him down. Hero, back to the by Goldfan. Cole, snap, suplex. Certainly, oh god, certainly useful over here with the possum kick trying to get back to the cold pen back up. Hero though turned around from behind. Oh god, a neck breaker to cold pen. That one was brutal. Hero swing played, caught cold pen hard. Hero, oh god, back elbow. Hero, got him locked up. Look at this! Bang! Face first right into the mat. Hill Malan turned around, he got him! Oh, Dr. Teeth! Colvin trying to struggle back to his feet. Hill has got on the hill, whipping him off the rope, using that to an advantage. With a knee right to the oh god, two knees right to the gut now in the middle of the ring! A side Russian leg peep! Sure, I mean, I suppose that'll work too. Left hand from Hero! Uh-oh! It's time for Cole Penn to go into the accolade! And there it is! Here locks in the accolade! Submission maneuver, accolade! Trying to tap out Cole Penn, is it enough? Oh! Cole Penn able to get out of it! Just barely too, it's not like that's an easy thing to get out of. Now Cole Penn from the high! No! Oh, what a back suplex right on the drop back to his neck! Oh my god! And that's not it! Hero in! And he got five! Into the cover! One! Two! Cole! Kicked out at two! He got that shoulder up big time and man, I'm surprised! He kicked out of that I feel running through! The right hand! Oh my god! Oh my god! Here comes the second half of the Diamond Taxi Champion! This Jack Dreamer, Cole Penn's partner! Oh Jesus! This is not gonna end well! Oh my god! Watch out behind you! Watch out behind you, Jack Dreamer! Get me the ring! Oh my god! Jack called him! In a gun rat suplex! And called for the bell and disqualification. We have no winner, but look at this! Jack Dreamer just continuing to strike down! On oh god, here I'm well in. It's just ridiculous. Jack Dreamer is still going! He hasn't given up! This is just not okay to watch. Jack Dreamer striking down on Hero. Now Cole Pan and Jack is gonna go back and forth stomping down on Hero. This is just ridiculous. Come on, referee, do something! What is this? Oh my god, the TTT! TTT in the ring! And a triple in paradise to Cole Penn! Jack Dreamer still trying to attack! Jack with the right hand from behind! Cole Penn, oh god, TTT reverse if he's in the ring! TTT, got him now! Oh, in front of the atomic drop! That's not all. Jack Dreamer taking him into the corner. Hero Mullen, got Jack Dreamer in the corner, rolling into the middle. Now uh, Hill Mullen from the middle rope and a fifth drop now. Oh god, Copen back to the CT that he runs through with the forearm. Now Hill Mullen has got Jack Dreamer to turn into an all out brawl. Hero from behind, throw back. Copen back to the CT, right hand. And now striking down on Copen in the corner. Clubbin going to the back. And these two are just cutting out on each other. I'm not sure why T T came out on a fling blade to Copen. I'm not sure why the opportunity came out to help Hero, but it doesn't matter. Here he is now. It might be something to do with the first line. I don't know. We all know that TCT does not like the first line. Of course, they, they're the ones that split up him and his brother's team. And a hero, another thing by the Cole Pan. Jesus Christ. And it's turned into a tag match. It's Hero and TCT now teaming up together to try and take down the fourth line and now a tag match. Cole Tan locked up in the corner by TTT Pen. That's where you gotta split that one up. TTT got Cole Pen. Whoa! Back suplex! Let him fly on that one. Cole Pen caught by TTT. TTT got Cole Pen whiffing over the corner. Oh god, bounced off the wall. Now TTT! Boom! Oh my Jesus. Ridiculous move. Oh my god, TTT not done yet. TTT! Close line the pen! What's the opportunist gonna do now? And he's gonna tag in his partner for, well, at least now, Hero Mullen. 
Is it a first time the two have teamed up against each other? They even competed in a battle royale against each other. That was the one with the Taylor Lopez uh, turning on Hero to win it. And I believe Lopez was eliminated by TTT if I am correct. Oh no, sorry, TTT was eliminated by Mateo Lopez, of course, that's what I meant to say. But tagged in here, as a double team, already got the chemistry working, look at this, locked in submission maneuver, and oh my god, a stall fight to the leg, TTT, and then a cover on Cole Penn, Penn caught, two, and a kick out at two. He's all, of course, TTT and Cole Penn, and of course, Jack Dreamer, all three of them have a lot of hits with each other. You know what, I have to throw Hero Mellon in this conversation, too. It's been a lot of back and forth. Hero and Raphael, oh, sorry, TTT and Raphael, the team, uh, of course, the Alpha 200 were split up because they lost to Cole Penn and Jack Dreamer, who became the Diamond Tag Team Champion, of course. Uh, and of course, they had to split up their team. It was an extreme world, uh, I believe, Tornado Tag match. And of course, you had that rivalry with Hero Mellon and Jack Dreamer. Because, of course, the Universal Champion talk. How Hero Mullen used to be Universal Champion. Since the title draft pay-per-view, then he lost it, I believe. It was Chaos Week 8 to Jack Dreamer. And, of course, that is going to spark a little bit of rivalry. And Cole Penn is going to tag in Jack Dreamer. And that's exactly who Hero Mullen wanted. But a mistake if Jack Dreamer throws out a Superman punch. That was definitely a mistake. Hero shouldn't have got Jack Dreamer in here. Look at this. Oh my god, Jack Dreamer is stalling the T-Flex for as long as possible. Dreamer is ridiculously strong too. You thought what he did to Big Joe as well, stalling T-Flex. Look at it, Jack Dreamer. Dump down to the chest the Hero. Dreamer. Oh my god, it's stomping down on Hero Mullen. The chest over and over again. Relax. Oh, rolled up though, Hero with the roll up. One. Two. Oh, Jack Dreamer kicked out at two. Hero got Jack Dreamer back to its seat. Into the corner. Look at this. Dreamer. Oh! Look at that strike on Jack Dreamer. A little bit of boxing field coming out. Oh my god, Hero Mullen throws off the ropes. Here comes Hero! Oh my god, a knee draped across the face of Jack Dreamer. Face of Jack Dreamer. That was brutal, for sure. Hero. Oh, TTT missed a thumb. Oh! Broke a kick from Dreamer! Out of absolutely nowhere! And he's dragging him as far away as possible. Dreamer taking him away from the roof. Now into the cover on TTT. This is the moment to shine! And a kick out at one! Only one. That is surprising. TTT staying strong in this one. Jack Dreamer. Uh oh! This is bad! He waited too long! The storm! To TTT! And then a cover! One! Two! TTT kicked out of two. Throw enough, he tried, but he could not succeed. Jack Dreamer. Uh oh! Would not go! TTT! And a twist of fate! Twist of fate to Dreamer in the cover! And then a cover! And a kick out at one. Oh my goodness. Close but not enough, Jack Dreamer. Oh, a right hand could not catch all of it. TTT! Oh, what a DDT! And TTT is going to tag in the partner Hero and Jack Dreamer will tag in Cole Penn. It's Hero and Cole! Oh! Cole caught him with a drop kick. Hero is a little bit battered and bruised because he had his match with Cole Penn and of course he just got absolutely pummeled by Jack Dreamer and Cole Penn when Jack ran into their match. Cole Penn got Hero back on the two. Went for the Cole Penn. Uh oh, Cole Penn! Jack is back on the right hand. Another right hand! Oh, this is bad. Look at this, Cole Penn. Got to have thunder. Cole! Spine Buster! Oh my god. <laughs> and Cole Penn. Oh, tripped up by Hero. They're not going to have it at all. Hero Mullen, he's not messing around now. Hero whips off the wolf, though. Jack Dreamer jumps off the apron. Cole Penn. He's got Hero. Whoa! The Moen Trump! That's the move he was looking for. Cole Penn goes into the cover on Hero. One! Two! And he kicks out at two. Uh oh, look at this. Jack Dreamer with that TTT. Send them out to the apron. And Jack Dreamer is going to walk away. Doesn't want to get disqualified now. And Hero. Oh, God. Dr. Teeth again. Hero. Stop to the arm. Hero. He's got him by the gut. Oh! Inverted German duplex. Hero Mullen. He's got Cole Penn. Back to his feet now. Trying to continue the offense that he didn't have. And look at this in the corner. Now Hero right hand to Cole Penn. That can right reverse. Cole Penn got him in the corner. Now TTT gonna tag himself in. Cole Penn in the ring with TTT. Cole Penn! Oh my god! 
Say first on the fall away and now TPT trying to catch Cole. Right hand of Cole gonna revert it. Pen. Caught away by TPT. And now, oh god, now TPT gonna throw some gut punches right into Cole Pen's ribcage. Cole taking TPT out to the apron. Cole Pen, a right hand revert by the opportunist. Off the springboard. Oh, a cross body. And down he goes Cole Hart into the cover. One. Two! And Jackson, we're gonna break it up. Oh god, Hero, look at that! Then he's actually over the Aether. Whoa! And TPT the throw the right on the Jack Dreamer. And Hero gets out of the ring. I'm not sure why he was taking so long to get out of it, but Cole Penn. Oh, went to the fullback! An elbow from TPT. The opportunity with Cole Penn. Oh my god, headed to the top rope. Sure enough, look at that! Hey, 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 from the top! Oh! There it is! Corkscrew shooting star press! Kick out at two! Jack Dreamer wouldn't have been able to get there in time, and Cole Pan with a great kick out that he thought he certainly needed it, that's for sure. And tagged in Hero. Tagged in Hero with Cole Pan. Whipped off the wall. Here it is! Oh! Double back elbow! And double thumb time! One right to the gun, one right to the head. Beautiful combination and chemistry from TTT and Hero, even though it's their first tag team match. That's great! Cole Pan with the right got Oh god, Hero sending a little top rope onto the apron. Now Hero running through! And a shoulder block! And down goes Cole Pan to the outside. Cat of one. Cole Pan gonna send Hero back into the ring. Oh my god, uh oh, call by Cole! Oh, backdrop to play. Cole, and then a cover on Hero. One, two, okay, never want to kick out a one for Hero. Yeah, certainly not going to put it away. You got to do a little better than that. Now, Hero trying to catch Cole with an uppercut from Penn. And Penn is going to tag in Jack Room, but this is bad. Hero trying to get the tag on TTT. Just in time. The opportunity in the ring now. Right hand to Jack Dreamer on a forearm, down he goes! Jack Dreamer, coming to the corner. Look at that, the right hand from the Alpha Tudor. Another row, God, now striking down with the thump. PPT got him back, a right hand into the corner, another right. PPT. On the middle of the floor, oh, tornado! DDT! Brutal maneuver! PPT, he got Jack Dreamer now. Look at that, dominant! And Cole Fenn tagged himself in. And of course you know that TCT and Jack Dreamer have a title match later tonight. TCT challenging Jack for the Universal Championship in the main event tonight. So certainly watch out for that because this is a little sneak peek of what we're going to get. At least we got it. TCT. Oh! Traveling Pelonite to Cole Fenn. That's exactly the formula he needed. TCT rolled him into the cover. One. Two. And Jack can't get there in time! TTT and Hero have won the Tag Team match! And that is certainly a big win! Two... Well, I mean, they probably had no chemistry. This is the first time they're going against each other. TTT... Oh, sorry, with each other on the team! Uh... TTT and Hero Mullet have never in a Tag match before. They've only been against each other in the Battle Royale, I believe it was. And that was a fantastic match. TTT and Hero take the win over the first line. And that is a huge win! Over the Diamond Tag Team Champion. Here are your winners. And the first entrance to the gauntlet match is Killshot. All right, Killshot is here. He's gonna be the number one entrant in the gauntlet match. That's interesting. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the wasteland, weighing in at 285 pounds, Lightning. Killshot has had an interesting start to his career, I guess I'd say, and now he's getting a chance to get the WWE title shot for the number one spot. I doubt he's gonna do it, but hey, crazy things have happened. Kinda, not really. But we'll see what he does here tonight, and we wait for entry number two before he gets to the ring.
And the opponent? It's Robbie Danadu! Oh man, okay, this is actually a pretty good toy. Uh, of course, you, as you know, Robbie Danadu beat Big Joe and AJ and MT uh, earlier this night, and now he's got a chance in the Gauntlet match to go after the WWE Championship against Theodore Lock Freaky. And here he comes. Robby Danadu is looking to eliminate kill shot to move on in the gauntlet match. That's gonna be interesting if he can, because Robby Danadu has been on a bit of a roll lately. And of course, he's had a match earlier tonight, which might make him a little bit fatigued, but we'll find out if he goes against kill shot in the first match of the gauntlet match tonight. Without any further ado, the first part of the Gauntlet match is Killshot and Robbie Danadu. Here we go! Killshot. Oh god, caught by Danadu already. A gut punch and now, oh my god, no hesitation whatsoever. Danadu taking Killshot out to the rope. Danadu. Oh, look at this! And a Wolfhung neckbreaker to Killshot. Killshot caught in a front face lock. Killshot, back to the way, locked up, and now powering Danadu into the corner. That's expected, especially when you have a guy as big as Killshot. He definitely got the muscles on him, that's for sure. Killshot, oh, right hand to Danadu. Oh, a big clothesline in that corner, and Killshot now pushing down as hard as he can. Look at it. Danadu, caught up in the alley you from Killshot. He's got him now. Oh, Danadu, right hand back the other way. Robbie, boom. Shot right to the chest, doesn't seem to bother Killshot too much on a right hand again. Down goes Killshot. Danadu, he's got Killshot into the corner. Here he comes running through in a clothesline. Boom, elbow right to the chest as well. Uh oh, look at that. Dang down. Now look at Danadu continuing that strike, my goodness. Uh oh. Danadu on the top of double axe handle to Killshot. So far, so good for Robbie. Whipped off the wolf now, kill shot. Oh, God, left arm clothesline from Danity. Kill shot slowly back to the able to get up there. Danity, oh, well, got him! Kill shot back to the way. Uh oh. Danity pushes back. Pushing kill shot away in a left hand against the corner now. Against the wolf, that's what they. Robbie. With kill shot up! Oh, God, draping him over the top wolf. Elbow right there as well. Robbie, oh, went for the strong kill shot. Oh, caught him! An elbow right to the knee. Kill shot, we're gonna want the wolf. Kill shot! Uh oh, where did that go? Danity! Now look at the strike! Down to the wall! Boom! Now look at the clashing down right hand. And look at that, moved out of the way. Kill shot! And Danity waits. Uh oh, bad time to do that! He didn't see him coming! Kill shot! Should've, should've, just, should've done something different than that, Robbie. Come on. There's a tag and I'm off that with a big clothesline and the mistake just keeps on ringing for Robbie Danity. Kill shot right hand called Danity. Kill shot. Oh, pull back a headbutt. Straight to the noggin of Robbie. Yeah, and he's just really pushing on the pressure now. This is bad for Danity. Kill shot. Oh, God. Big double act handle and down he goes. Certainly wasn't a smartest decision of Robbie to let all that momentum go away and have a headbutt from Kill shot. Jesus Christ, I'm stopping on him! Poking down on Danity as well, my goodness. 
Kill shot. Oh, reverse by Xanadu. Finally getting that momentum back. But kill shot goes back to the way again. I oh, got him by the throat. This is bad for Robbie. Kill shot. Oh! Big gut punch right there. Kill shot. Another right tending Xanadu into the corner. Now kill shot in the middle. Well, Bulldog. Oh, what? Jesus, that was brutal. Not again. Kill shot. Full Nelson Yaranagi. Oh no, into the cover, count of two, Vanity kicked out. Killshot almost had him where he wanted him, but Vanity still kicking out, man, just in time. Uh oh, what is this? Killshot, oh my god, whoa, 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 oh my god, what on earth? It's, oh, okay, he's alright. That was a double under, what do you even call that? Jesus. He landed right on the back of his neck and bounced him. That could have killed him. And then a dude with the spike DDT. Thank goodness he's okay. That could have been so bad. So, so bad. Then a dude with kill shot back on his feet. Robbie taking him into the corner. Turning him around. Then a dude. Uh oh. Then a dude's got him on the top rope. Look at Robbie. That'd be Danity. Oh! Kill shot reverse. I think kill oh god. I think Robbie might have been going for that top rope RKO again like he did earlier tonight again. Uh, Adrian MT. Possibly. Oh god, another that another double that candle from Kill Shot. Kill shot. Throat thrust. What is he looking for now? Danity calling him though, it doesn't matter what he was looking for. Danity, he's really wanting to do this. Uh oh. He actually might get it. He actually might get it. Danadu. He's got kill shot on the top hole pushed away. Kill shot from up high. Kill shot. Oh! Caught him with the forearm right to the head. Kill shot. And get a cover on Danadu. One. Two. Robbie kicked out a two. Could not be enough to put him away, but it was close ish. Danadu. Oh, enough for a cut the kill shot down he goes. Certainly not gonna. Well, I, I have to wonder one thing. I do have to say this: Is can Killshot even come back against Robbie Danadu? I, I, the reason I say that is because Danadu has been known to be very resilient. If you can keep Danadu off with offense, you'll probably get the win. But Killshot has not been able to do that. Robbie Danadu just getting basically offense the whole entire match. Killshot had like one streak of good offense, but that was about it. I don't know, Killshot's gonna need some big luck on the side if he wants to come back against Danadu. And of course Danadu is gonna have to try and finish him off as quick as possible because Killshot starts getting his momentum back. Kinda goes both ways, you know? Killshot throws to a caught him. Danadu back the other way. Killshot reverts underneath. Killshot pushed away. Danadu! He's got Killshot now. Neckbreaker! Certainly a lot of offense going back to both ways. It's back and forth here in the first match. Of this gauntlet little challenge here on Chaos. Danity, whoa! Caught with kill shot with the throw code. Danity rolling away. Oh! RKO! Caught with the RKO! Look at the cover! Look at the leg! Danity! Go at Van! And that's exactly what I mean. If you let him get that offense going, Danity gonna get you in. Well, that proves my point. Danity eliminates kill shot. And it's Robbie Danadu eliminates Killshot. Who's going to be the next opponent? Here, oh my goodness, it's Raphael Draco. Raphael Draco is entrant number three in the gauntlet match. All right, this is exciting. And his opponent, representing the original from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 250 pounds. Rock Drago! Raphael Draco entering the Garland match looking to fight off Robbie Danigo and certainly gonna be interesting to see if he's gonna be able to do it. Good luck to Raphael Draco.
And here we go, continuing the golden match with Robbie Danadu and Killshot. Referee with that bell as we continue. Danadu, oh god, call with, oh god. Raphael already starting off with double knees to Danadu, that's interesting. <laughs> no hesitation whatsoever. Robbie, that ended a corner by Raphael on a right hand as well. Danadu, oh, driven right into the ring, oh, shoulder first. Raphael Draco dumping down on Robbie Danadu and he's continuing on. Look at that choke on the knee. My goodness. Raphael got Danadu back on his feet. Draco ripping him off the rope. Raphael. Oh, think on you, Faith Breaker. Not done yet. Look at it. Bent off the rope. Oh, Jesus. The palm strike right to the gut and down goes Danadu and Raphael still striking down. Draco working to the corner by Robbie Danadu. Robbie, whoop, caught by Drake, oh, boom, fell right down to the mat, no problem whatsoever, keep that in mind, Raphael, whooping him off the wall, Draco, more double knee, caught him hard, Raphael, got Robbie again, taking him off the wall, watch out, wow, there you go, sure, Robbie, oh, caught with an inverted atomic drop, this is just Great for Raphael right now, let's be honest. Robbie Danadu is completely out of it. Not all! Draco! Just crushing the leg of Robbie Danadu. Jesus. I don't, think that, I, I don't know if that was the submission move or not, but that was certainly brutal. That is a known fact. Raphael Draco got kill shot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> kill shot is not in the match anymore. He's got Robbie, I should say, and a neck breaker to Danadu. Raphael Draco standing tall over Robbie. Uh oh, this is bad for Danadu. Look at this. Draco in the corner. Bear. A bear from Raphael Draco. Now Raphael. Setting up in the corner. Watch out, Danadu. Watch out, it's his time. Draco. Whoa! Went for the super kick, but then he reversed it. Draco has not given up hope yet though. Then I did. Caught by Draco! Oh my god, look at this! Blank right into the turnbuckle. Who are they booing? Are they booing Draco? They might be. Why? Draco, right hand of Vanity. Are people really getting attached to Robbie? Is this what this is? Draco. Now Danity back on his feet. Raphael! Right hand. Yeah, they're booing Draco. Wow. That's interesting. Back elbow. Robbie Danity caught again. Draco. Another back elbow. And down goes Robbie. And now Draco heading up high. Look at this. Draco! Look at it, oh my god, on the top row! Oh, a splash! To Robbie Danity. Draco's been pretty dominant the whole entire match so far. He's still continuing on. Look at it, Robbie taking him to the outside. Oh, went for the strike with. Oh god, Raphael. Up the swing, oh, what a cross body! Certainly caught him hard off that one. Now Draco on the top row again. Draco! Oh! Oh, wrong flash! That's huge from Draco. Very, very huge, as a matter of fact. Raphael waiting patiently for Danny to get back to his feet. Raphael taking him into the corner. Bouncing right off the turnbuckle, as a matter of fact. Raphael taking him to the corner again. Uh oh. Draco. Oh, I'm gonna roll. Top rope! Moonsault attack! Into the combo! One! Two! And Raphael Draco has eliminated Robbie Vanity. And that's a great elimination as Robbie tried his best, but he had two matches the other night. He had one against Big John. I guess you could call one against Killshot, and the third one would not go with Draco fresh and ready to go to eliminate Robbie Vanity. And let's see who entered number four is. Ew, it's, oh wow, it's Morty Mullins. Morty Mullins is going to be entering number four. This is going to be an interesting contest. He came back uh, a little bit ago against John Freaky and won it by roll-up, of course. 
but here is Morty trying to eliminate Raphael Draco and it's gone in match. We still wait for one more competitor, so whoever gets eliminated here, oh sorry, I guess you gotta say eliminate here, we'll go against the final competitor. And his opponent from Richmond, Virginia, weighing in at 230 pounds. And there we go, Draco and Morty about to square off. It's time for number four in the Gauntlet match. Here we go! Raphael Draco got Morty! Boom! A scoop slam! Oh, and a knee right to the face as well. Stomping down on Morty. Boom! It's over to the arm. And now it sounds like the crowd is cheering for Draco. They are. They really cannot make up their mind, can they? Raphael. He got the oh god got more Send him right off the turnbuckle and he falls to the ground. Raphael Draco. Oh, then I'll draw Wickle from Morty on a reversal. Now Morde striking down on Raphael. He's a man. And then a cover. Draco kicked out right away. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty I mean it's gotta be pretty well known that you can't just do that to anybody. Like come on. <laughs> can't just do a simple beat down and then expect to win it off a three count. That's just ridiculous. Morty, I thought that's good out draw breaker. I don't know how that really hurts when you have a hat on, but sure, we'll go with that. Morty, boom, what a two-plus. Morty, oh, God, half and kick from Draco, not gonna let him get anything else done. Raphael with Morty back on his feet. Big right hand, Morty moves out of the way just in time. Now I got Draco, oh, my God, a knee right to the arm. The thought at the Morty, oh, back two flex right on the back of the neck. And Draco's gonna have to smartly roll out of the ring for that one. Wide move from Draco. Oh, up top, look at that, Morty! Bah, what a brain buster. Two. Brutal brain buster from Morty at that. Now, then they are right under the barricade, count of three. Morty heading up to the top for over. Morty heading up high, elbow drop to the back. Morty, drop right to Raphael. Now stomping down on Draco more and more over and over, sure. Morty taking Draco off the oh god off the turnbuckle. Now Morty get a little bit of offense and a knee right to the back of the head. Whew. Definitely brutal. I mean, if you didn't know already, of course. Oh look at that! Morty! Bah! Is it a cover? One! Two! Mo! Draco kicked out at two and Morty can't believe it. Off the fit out power bomb, but that's not it. That's not it. Morty! Whoa! Reversal from Draco! And running through and he strike. That dude. That is absolutely huge. Now Draco in the corner. Setting up. Morty on his feet. Draco! There! Draco hit him with a big old spear, and that's certainly what he needed. Look at this though. Raphael! 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 Coming through! And a super kick! And then a cover. Morty down. He might be out. Two! Morty! Kicked out. And near fall. Impressive kick out from Morty. Certainly. And look at it. Draco on the top row. Draco. Up high. Look at a fly. Inverted 450. That was impressive. How do you even do that? Oh my god. Now Draco. A whisper in the wind. That's not it. Oh, God, elbow drop right to the knee. Raphael. Taking him to the middle of the ring. Draco. Oh, crushing the leg. This is what he did to Robbie Danigo when he was throwing around. Just crushing the leg, trying to take out the mobility factor on Morty. Might work, who knows. You take out the legs, you take out his whole half of his offensive strategy. And it's speed, of course. Draco double knees right to the face. 
And now he oh, mounts on it now, he's just gonna keep on striking. And a tough, I could've got it well, might as well. Draco on the middle row, frog splash! Hit the middle row, frog splash, but didn't go for cover. Interesting. Draco heading up to the top row instead. Draco. And a splash to Morty again! Raphael just getting to the top room doing as much as he can. Sure. I suppose you could go for that. Draco. Whoa! Caught him there! Raphael! And then brought the top of the drop. Not all, look at this. Draco scoop slam! Now Draco heading up to the top roof again. Draco, looking to fly. Draco, frog splash, and that was the big one he was looking for. That was, oh, here we go, here we go. Round two, baby. Draco, super kick. That might do it, and then a cover. One, two, Raphael Draco eliminates Morty Mullins, and we only have one more competitor left to go. It's gonna be Draco. Oh, no hesitation whatsoever. He's coming right out here. <gasps> oh. And his opponent from Birmingham, Alabama, weighing in at 210 pounds. One half of the Adrian, the Terror, MT. I'm going to hurt somebody. Adrian MT is the final, <laughs> oh God. the final entrant in this gauntlet match and he's facing off against Raphael Draco. Why does this have to happen? Why did, why did God hate me though? I don't know. <sighs> but here's Adrian MT entering the gauntlet match at number 5. This is it. One of these two men are going to face D-Lock Freaky for the WWE Championship. And I, I really hope it's Raphael Draco because I've seen enough of Adrian and D-Lock fighting each other. But yeah. <laughs> Adrian, one half of the gold tag team champions alongside Big Joe. He lost to uh, Robbie Vanity earlier tonight, and hopefully he loses to Draco too because Draco eliminated Vanity. So we'll see how it goes. Raphael and Major MT, here we go. And there we go. Oh! Draco caught him off with a knee right off the bat, knocked off with down at Adrian MT. Yeah! Give him no mercy! Give him no mercy! Draco, sending him off the rope. Draco, oh, call me. Oh, God. Adrian MT was off the rope instead now. Adrian, oh, where in the middle on the left hand? Adrian from behind. Oh, a clothesline from Draco. Now, Draco heading to the top rope early. Draco heading to the top rope early. Finish him off. Draco, inverted 450. Now, don't down, stay, stay down on Adrian MT. Rafael Draco taking Adrian MT off the rope. Raphael couldn't get him. Oh, Adrian. Look at this. Boom! Neckbreaker. Two of them. Adrian MT with Raphael Draco. Oh, and for something. Draco moved back the other way. Raphael. Uh-oh. Not again. Adrian MT. Oh! Gut punch. Another gut punch. And a third gut punch. Sure. I suppose you could do that. Adrian MT. Oh! Not gonna have that one. Oh, right hand for Raphael. Look at the left as well. Oh, Thanadu. Sorry, not that. <laughs> where, did that where did Thanadu come from? Adrian Dante back the other way. Now, Raphael, call him. Adrian back the other way again. Oh, God. Taking him to the turnbuckle. Adrian went for the strike there, but Raphael. Scoop slam. The offensive ability shining bright right now for Raphael. He's been very impressive, eliminating two men. He admitted Robbie Daddy, who eliminated a kill shot, and then he eliminated a Morty, who came in at number four. Now he's looking to get a third of the gauntlet match by eliminating Adrian. What for the next breaker, but Adrian pushed him away. Adrian MT, oh my god, what was that? Good lord. Oh, Adrian is slamming his face, or the back of his head, sorry, onto the mat, and get a cover. One, Draco, Draco kicked out of one. This is nerve wracking. This is very nerve wracking because there's a possibility MT could win it, and I really do not want to see that. It's just empty, caught with the back through that. Of course, Raphael is probably footy fatigued because uh, he's gone through two men so far. And this is his third. A slightly fresh agent empty, which is never a good thing. Right hand. Didn't catch him, but he got the two flex now. Raphael! Whoa! What a two flex! Thought it just a little bit and it worked out well into the cover on Adrian Empty. One, two, 
And Adrian Antti kicked out at two. Adrian back on a three, Raphael. Put it away off the rope. Adrian, oh god, running through. Raphael Draco, another one. Adrian Antti. Uh oh, roll them away. Oh god. Let's still kick from Adrian Antti. Now running through. Cross body straight in the corner. Now running through another body splash. Adrian Antti got him in the wooden ring. Oh god, no, 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 no. Full Nelson. Reverse that kill. Please don't. Please don't. Please just do not. No, no, no. Adrian Antti. Miss it. Oh god. Done right. Super kick. Is it a cover on Draco? Come on. Kick out. Come on! Oh! Rafael Draco with a kick out of two. But still hope, ladies and gentlemen. What is Adrian MT doing? Leg drop to the back of Rafael. It's still hope. Draco. Oh, where's he going? No, come on. No, don't do that. Is it, did you not see he was right there? I don't know what Draco would think of it. He's trying to head to that top rope. There he goes. Now he can. Adrian has to be caught on the ground. Draco. On the top row, inverted 450. Certainly skillful, that's for sure. Raphael over top of Adrian up, striking down on MT. Oh. And stop right to the arm. Raphael Draco. Whoa, inverted German suplex. Very talented, that's for sure. Raphael, where's he going? Draco, uh oh, yeah, 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 Draco running through, through, oh my god, Adrian moved out of the way, you gotta be kidding me, Rafael Draco got MP, against the wolf now, Rafael placed him now, oh, an elbow right to the back, another elbow right to the back, yeah, and down goes MP, Draco stop right to Adrian, Rafael dragging to the middle, and there's a cover on Adrian, one, Two! And a kick out of two. Close, but not enough. Oh, it, it better be enough soon, though. Very, very soon, because I, I really am just worried. I'm about to, a lot. Very worried. Oh! Went for something there, but Adrian reversed it with a face buster, basically. I guess that's what you could call that. Adrian takes the Raphael. Oh, no! oh, God! Last shot straight to the face! Don't do that to me. Adrian taking him into the corner. MT running through a drop kick right to the back and Rafael gets called hard. Draco back to the way the left hand. And now all one right there as well. A Draco back to the way got a gut kick. Uh-oh. Adrian moved out of the way. Adrian, wow! And called by Rafael Draco. Well caught Rafael Draco, I guess would be the better way to say it. Adrian MT take him into the corner again. Now MT reversed by Rafael. Draco now got him in the corner. Oh boy, Draco with every little bit of energy he's got, outpowering, got Adrian MT onto the top row. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, Draco right hand. He got Adrian up high. Raphael Draco, come on, yeah, yeah, suplex from the top row, but superplex, my goodness. Raphael, and that cover on Adrian, trying to put him away right here, right now. Kick out of two. Oh my god. And somehow Adrian MT is still in this match. I seriously just do not understand it. Please. Oh my god. Yeah. Here we go. Draco setting up. Draco setting up. And a deer. Deer from Raphael. Now in the corner setting up again. Here we go. Dumping that map. Draco. And a super kick, that one connected, and that should do it. Two, oh my god. And Adrian kicked out at two, you gotta be kidding me. How on earth? And Raphael Draco can't even believe it. I don't blame him, that's ridiculous. Raphael with Adrian back on the team, now Adrian, oh god, take him out to the apron. I'm keep standing tall over Raphael. He's still there though, Raphael. A little too far to go for right hand. Here comes back and a right hand, Captain MT. Another one, and the last one down for the team. Now clubbing down to the back. Raphael coming through. Next break with MT. Raphael got the double off camera right to the chest. Raphael, now he's heading to the top row. Raphael looking to fly on Adrian MT. 
Oh no! And he got the knees up. Adrian. Raphael back on a feet of piano. Tried to catch him. But Raphael reverted it. Big reversal from Raphael Draco. And he's still in it though. You gotta take him out of it. Adrian whipped off the rope. Raphael trying to go for something. MT caught up. Bang! Raphael Draco. Oh my god, here it is. Draco in the corner. Watch out! What? This happened? He missed the fear. He was a little too close? That was weird. Draco missed the fear. I don't even think MT dodged it. He just stood there and Raphael missed it. MT though moving out of the way! Carl with the DDT. My goodness, that was a hard one. Raphael trying to crawl to the corner. Trying to corral himself up, but MT said, You take too long. And Raphael, oh god, pushes him right down, no problem. No, Raphael went into a clothes and caught him right on the bottom of the face. Draco in the corner. Uh oh, setting up, setting up, MT. In trouble! Raphael! Oh my god, MT moved out of the way, you gotta be kidding me! Raphael though, keeping the offense going! Got him now locked up to mission move! MT trying to crawl to the rope, but he's gonna roll out of it! Not gonna tap him out, Adrian MT! Call Raphael from face off! Raphael reversing! Raphael, roll for right hand, MT! Huge drop, he caught him off on the bottom rope! Adrian, with Raphael back on the feet, watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh, neck break on a second one! MT with Raphael back on his feet. Adrian, oh god, last shot! That caught him hard. Not going for the cover though. I don't know if that's a smart move at all. Raphael can elbow back. Raphael on the strike. Trying to get a top rope, watch out. Raphael from the top. Inverted 450 connect. Raphael. Trying to stay in this for as long as he possibly can. Raphael in the corner setting up. Here it comes again. Raphael. Raphael Draco. One and three on a spear. Oh my god, wait, he reversed it. Adrian reversed it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How did Adrian revert the spear? Now Adrian went for the full Nelson. But look at this. Raphael reversed. They're gonna close line. Over the top rope. And not done a meteor to the outside. My goodness. Raphael Draco and MT going at it as hard as they possibly can. This is crazy. Raphael back in the ring. Draco setting up in the corner. Never mind. Double act handle caught Adrian MT. Draco still deciding what he wants to do and elbow drop to the back. Raphael. Setting up again. Just continue his corner move. One of these has got to catch MT. One of them's got to take it out of it. Super kick connect. There you go! Is it a cover? To whoa! To go! Win! Oh my god! You gotta be kidding me. MT kicked out of two. How is he still in this map? I don't understand. How is he still in this? Raphael, don't to the gut! No mercy whatsoever, and that's what you gotta do. Don't show any mercy. This is your, uh, <laughs> a huge opportunity. You gotta take a chance to get it. You can't let this slip away from you. It's a WWE Championship opportunity, and it's even worse if MT gets it. I think that kind of has to go without saying. Raphael playing on the right middle ring post. Use anything you can that's obviously not illegal. So if you get the qualified guess who's going to face Elon. So let's not do that. Draco. Count of four, sending MT back in the ring. Raphael with Adrian back on his feet. Ripping him off the ropes here. Raphael, double knee right to the feet. Draco continuing to thump for MT. Caught with the right again. He's got no chance whatsoever right now. Raphael Draco on full throttle. Bang, decapitator. Raphael got to keep it going. Don't give up yet. MT roll to the outside. Raphael gonna take matters into his own hand on the eighth one and elbow swap from the eighth one and down nose MT hard. Raphael, oh god, tripped up by MT. Adrian tripped him up. Count of three for the referee, Adrian. Oh, a neck breaker to Raphael on the outside, right on the concrete. And Raphael gonna revert Adrian MT into the onto the floor again. Now look at Raphael. Up high, Draco from up top. Oh, come on! 
Adrian got the knees up again. This is ridiculous. How is he still doing it? Rafael trying to attack him off the roof. Adrian with the right hand. Oh, no, 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 no. No! Full mouth in reverse FTO. Don't do it. It's a cover. One, two. Rafael kicked out at two. Thank the Lord. Just in time, and that's exactly what I needed. A little bit of leeway for this. My goodness. Adrian MT continues to stomp down on Rafael, but he gets back to his feet. The passing quick worked well. Rafael Draco taking MT into the corner. Watch out. Rafael running through corner with a huge clothesline. Now Rafael heading up top. Heading up top. Draco from the top row. Draco, come on. Going for the frog flash and MT with the knees again. It's just ridiculous. MT caught him from behind. Sling blade. Oh my lord. They did a cover on Rafael. One, count of two. Rafael kicked out at two. <laughs> Rafael Draco. With MT there. Went for something. Oh, palm strike connect. Dropping down on Adrian FT over and over again. Keep going. Don't stop. Rafael. Pick it up to off the road. Draco. Double knee to the face. This has gone on long enough. We've got to end at some point here. Both superstars taking each other to their limit. Draco, Frog Splash Connect! The Frog Splash Connect! Is it a cover? The go face lock. Come on, the WWE Championship. Yes! Rafael Draco is going to say he lock Freaky for the WWE Championship. Thank God. Oh my lord, that is a relief and a half, indeed. Thank goodness, Adrian MT does not get another shot. You love to see it, and Raphael Draco with the shot of a lifetime to face the WWE Champion alone in a ring for the WWE Championship. What a performance by Rafael Draco, entering as the number 3 spot, eliminating Robbie Vanity first, then Morty Mullins, then of course Adrian MT to get a chance at the WWE Championship against d Lock Freaky, and this is gonna be an exciting contest as Rafael Draco finally, finally gets his opportunity. Congratulations to Rafael. is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Universal Championship. And as known since last week, the WWE Universal Championship on the line, TTT, the challenger, enters the first. It should be pretty well known that the rivalry between TCT and Jack Dreamer is higher than ever, especially when it goes with Hero Mullins to the limit of fighting Jack Dreamer as well, and TCT mostly having that rivalry because of tag team matches. Trying to avenge his brother and his team defeat where they got put up and lost the championship, and well, it's certainly going to be a tight matchup between the opportunist and Jack Dreamer, the Universal Champion. And here he comes, the WWE Universal Champion, Jack Dreamer. We know the story between Jack Dreamer, Hero Mullen, TPT, and Cold Pan, and it's certainly going to be a startling one tonight during this match. The main event of Chaos, of course. Opponent, 
representing the Yes Men from out of this world. Weighing in at 285 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion. Introducing the challenger from Dallas, Texas, weighing in at 210 pounds, T.C.T. And introducing the champion from out of this world, weighing in at 285 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion. And here we go, wait no longer, TCT and Jack Dreamer, who had to get things going. Referee, ring that bell! Here we go, Universal Championship on the line. We were trying to start off, TCT though, got that right hand with a, whoa! We're able to throw him in paradise, Jack Dreamer though moved out of the way. Dreamer, a thump right to the gut. Oh my god, no, not already, a thump! The TCT, already! Into the combo, Jack Dreamer to retain! TCT kicks out a two and an explosive start. For Jack Dreamer and TCT title match, oh my goodness, I was not expecting that right out of the gate. Jack Dreamer mounting on TCT, now striking down with that left hand on the opportunity. Gotta be super, super careful. Jack Dreamer heading to the top rope, Dreamer up high, looking to capitalize on TCT! Oh, and for the shooting star with the opportunity, who got it away? Dreamer, oh, went for the finale with TCT counter with that knee. Jack Dreamer sending him over his arm. Dreamer, right hand to TCT. Jack Dreamer, got the opportunity on top of him again now. Oh my god, he's blaming that head right back down into the mat. <laughs> oh my god, three times as a matter of fact. And Dreamer, he's playing that mount game. Ground and pound for Jack Dreamer right now. Dreamer heading to the top of again, trying to keep TCT down. Jack Dreamer, from up high, shooting star connect. That's what Jack Dreamer was looking for. Another one right to the back. Jack Dreamer. Got TTT. Oh, God. Hitting the corner. The opportunity counted. But Jack Dreamer with an elbow back to the way. TTT. Whoa. Went for the strike to the back. Jack moved out of the way. Jack from behind with the right. Moved out of the way. TTT. Got Jack. Oh, drag reverse on that one. Oh, now here comes the rapid gut strike. And Jack Dreamer. Oh, my God. He was falling with TTT. The Matrix style stuff there on the right hand of Jack Dreamer. TTT got him. Opportunist places Jack against the rope. TTT. Whoa! Back suplex from off the rope. Good move by TTT now. Well, I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> Might be a little rattled still from that stomp that Jack Dreamer landed on him. TTT from off the rope. Drop kick right to the head of Jack Dreamer. Oh! So Jack Dreamer not going to allow him to get anything there. He's the team back to the team quick. Now getting the combination on Jack Dreamer. Hitting off with the back elbow on a close line. Down low Dreamer. Certainly phenomenal. Jack Dreamer caught by TZT. He just keeps on stomping down. TZT. Back to the team now. Got Jack Dreamer. Let's off the rope. TZT. Oh! Call with the knee. Jack not going to let that happen. Then to the corner. Jack Dreamer. 
Dreamer, uh oh. It's gone right there, that head like Oh, and a right hand down go TPT. To the bottom rope now. Jack Dreamer. Oh my god. Oh god, no, Jack Dreamer running through. Oh! Drop kick from the outside. Drive by connect. And my goodness, Jack Dreamer with the drive by drop kick to set the tone. Jack Dreamer back in the ring now, TPT. Call by Dreamer into the cover. One, two. TPT kicked out of two. Now Dreamer's a little angry after that one. I, I don't blame him. TPT still using that resilience factor to its full content. Jack Dreamer got TPT up to his feet again. Jack Dreamer taking him into the corner. Dreamer not done running through. And then over right to the face. Now Jack Dreamer on the middle rope. Here he comes, running right through! Oh! An elbow right to the back. Jack Dreamer with TTT on his feet. Bouncing him off the rope. Oh, bounce off again. Jack Dreamer, a clothesline to TTT. Oh my god, that's not it. Jack Dreamer is still going at it. Ground and pound full force right now. My goodness. Dreamer, what's he looking to do? We were running through! Leg drop right to the stomach. Jack, oh god, again, and this is just ridiculous. He's not technically breaking a rule because he's not staying on for more than a count of five, but my god, it's just it's, it's brutal to be honest with you. Piece of tea, though, a crucifix to put back the other way. Piece of tea, hip drop to the arm. He's got to get the momentum going back his way because right now it's certainly not working. Well, what do you know? Twist of fate! Right as I say it, he does. One, two, Jack kicks out of two. PZT has gotten a little bit of momentum back his way. He's got to continue on. Uh-oh, uh -oh, look at this. PZT setting up for the big time. TZT, trouble in power. No, he missed. Jack Dreamer, he dodged a little trouble in paradise. Oh my god, not now, not here. Oh, the stomp into the cover. To retain the Universal Championship, TBT kicks out at two. Oh my lord. TCT and Jack Dreamer going at it as hard as they can, and neither can put each other away. Jack Dreamer with TCT. Oh god, face first down to the mat. Jack Dreamer headed to the top rope. Jack up tie. Dreamer! Oh my god, turning around! Oh! Right to the stomach of TTT. Now Jack wants him back up to his feet. What is Dreamer looking for? Oh, right hand down goes TTT again. It's a brutal from Jack Dreamer part, let's be honest. Dreamer, oh, whipped over. TTT, oh, caught Jack Dreamer though. Back to the way though, Dreamer not gonna have it. TTT taking him to the corner again though. Jack back to the way with the elbow. Dreamer with him off the rope. Jack Dreamer, nope, could not get it. TTT, works off the ropes again. Jack, one for the knee. TTT, got able to get out of that one on a clothesline from Dreamer, and TTT gets caught hard. Now look at that. Jack Dreamer continuing to pound down. On the, oh god, on the opportunity. Cold pen at ringside, of course, and Jack Dreamer here. Whoa, oh, look at that. Fling blade. Dreamer heading up high. Look at this. Jack Dreamer from the top rope. Trying to land it. And a shooting star. Again. And PTT is in some deep, deep trouble right now. What has he gotten himself into? Winning that triple threat match against Morty Muggs and Zachary Gale to get this shot in the first place. And was it worth it? Oh, DDT from TTT. Jack Dreamer sent back to his seat. Whoa! PTT landing that. Got Jack Dreamer now. Is one of the atomic drop? Not all. Boom! Got the double leg dropping into a drop kick. Beautiful move from PTT. Jack Dreamer leaving out of the way though. Oh god! Caught with the cross body TTT. Now the offer tuna heading up high. Look at this. PTT! Oh! We're going to court through shooting third press. But Jack Dreamer got the knees up. Dreamer running through and I've got the knee. Jack Dreamer got the knee right on the face of TTT. 
Bart, by the way. Jack Dreamer. Head on to the middle of the ring. Dreamer on the middle rope. Jack Dreamer. Boom. Fifth drop to the Alpha Tell him to get up. Jack Dreamer waiting patiently. Wow! Wait, was gonna go for the bro kick, the PTT. He got the knee up. He would not let Jack Dreamer get the bro kick. Big move from PTT. We gotta get the momentum going back as well. Jack Dreamer's got him full force right now. Oh my god, not again. Oh! oh. Right into the corner. Jack Dreamer dumping down on the opportunist in the corner. No mercy whatsoever. Jack Dreamer. Whoa! A light drop decapitator. That was a beautiful maneuver. I can't even lie. Jack Dreamer. Got TTT. Puts him into the corner. Jack! Oh my god. Jack Dreamer with TTT there. What's he looking to do? On the middle roof again. Coming in. Here we go. Round two. And a second fifth drop. My goodness. Jack Dreamer, the opportunist is back on his feet. Dreamer. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Here it comes. Safe drive. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Jack Dreamer. Jack Dreamer, watch out, TTT. Watch out, TTT. Oh no. Jack Dreamer. And the storm connect. And that just might do it. One, two, and sh no. What? Oh my God. The opportunity to still in it. TTT has not fallen. How on earth is he still in this thing? Even Jack Dreamer can't believe it. Now TTT back the other way. Got Jack Dreamer whip off the corner for staying in the clothesline. TTT has not given up hope yet. And another splash got Jack Dreamer. Exactly what he was looking for. Trying to get momentum back his way. TTT with the corner by Jack Dreamer. They were all four on right to the face doing it. Jack Dreamer. Go. Oh my god! What the? What? Jack Dreamer! A stomp from the corner! That was... Oh my god! Oh, Jack Dreamer! Jack Dreamer will retain the Universal Championship. What a finish regardless. My goodness. TTT put up a valiant effort, a valiant fight, but could not conquer... Uh, could, <laughs> could not conquer Jack Dreamer, man. What a great match though. TTT, lots of respect to him and Jack Dreamer of the team the Universal Championship. Jack Dreamer with a big win in his tonight. Uh, his first ever title defense and that is going to end it all. Okay, I'll see you tonight. So thank you everybody for stopping by. It's been a great pleasure having you. Hope you all have a great night and I will see you next time.